Hi, welcome to the uh, madcenter.com. Uh, in this video, we are going to continue on with uh, where we left off. A reminder, we are looking at the step 2018 uh, exam and it's question number 12. We've already done part 1 and part 2 in the previous video. We're going to look at part 3. So please uh, give this video a like and share as much as you can. Please follow me on uh, Facebook and YouTube. Now part 3 of this problem, two of the coins, remember we have got uh, 1, 2 and 3. Uh, the probability of getting ahead here is P1, the probability of getting ahead here is P2 and the probability of getting ahead here is P3. Okay, and two of the coins are taken at random from the bag and tossed. Now we have a new random variable and two uh, representing the, okay, it is the number of heads showing on the two coins. So again, two of the coins are taken at random and N2 uh, is a random variable whose value is the number of heads showing on the two coins and uh, we are asked to find the expected value of N2 and the variance of N2. A few things. Uh, the formula we will be using will be expected value of X will be X PX and the variance of X will be uh, expected value of X squared minus the expected value of X all things squared. Okay, The second moments minus the first moment squared. So these are the only two formulas we are going to use. And remember that N2 represents the number of heads showing on the two coins. So N2 can take values 0, 1 and 2. Now remember when you are finding the expected value of N2, we are going to take uh, the, random, uh, the value the random variable takes, multiply by its probability. So this value is 0. So you take 0 times anything is 0. So we don't have to worry about that. Yeah. So we will just consider the values probability n2 equals to 1 and probability n2 equals to 2. So first let's find the probability. Yeah? Now looking at this solution, remember we are taking two of the coins so it can be either coin 1 and 2, coin 1 and 3 or coin 2 and 3. So the probability of you picking any of these yeah, or any of these will be 1 over 3. Okay. I repeat, you can pick either 1 and 2, 1 and 3, or 2 and 3. So the probability of picking any of these is just 1 over 3. As I said, you don't have to worry about uh, n2 equals to 0 because 0 times anything is 0. Let's worry about the probability that n2 equals to 1. Now n2 equals to 1 means you have 1 head and 1 tail. Now this 1 over 3, now let me just... Now this is coins 1 and 2, this will be coins 1 and 3, and this one here will be for coins 2 and 3, yeah? So this is for coin 1 and 2, coins 1 and 3, coins 2 and 3. Now this one third that you see here is from what I said here, okay? I don't think we need to draw another tree diagram, you can draw it if you like. Okay, so if you consider just 1 and 2, so this is the probability of getting a hit. Remember, if you have n2 equals 1, we have 1 head, 1 tail. So the probability of getting a head is p1. The probability of getting a tail on coin number 2 is 1 minus p2. This is the probability of getting a head on coin number 2. This is the probability of getting a, a tail on coin number 1 again. Okay, this idea is repeated here and here. So let's just make sure we get this correct, the idea. So this, remember we are talking about one head and one tail. So P1 is the probability of getting a hit on coin 1. 1 minus P2 is the probability of getting a tail on coin 2. This P2 here is the probability of getting a hit on coin 2. And 1 minus P1 is the probability of getting a tail on coin 1. So get this expression out. And then we have this one third again out here. This is for coin 1 and 3, the logic being the same. I P1 times 1 minus P3. Okay, this is head, this is tail, this is head, 
and this is tail. And the same thing for coins 2 and 3. Now what's left is you need to clean up the algebra here. Okay, clean up the algebra and you'll get the probability that n2 equals to 1 is what you see here. Okay. And then probability of n2 equals to 2. Now this one will be just head and head. Okay. This is much easier to do. Yeah? So one third, remember, this is for coins 1 and 2. This is for coins 1 and 3. This is for coins 2 and 3. Yeah. So this one third is the probability of picking the coins and probably getting a head and a head. Yeah. A head and a head. Remember, we have two heads now. And a head and a head. So, the probability of N2 equals to 2 will be what you see here. Okay? So, the expected value, not difficult, is just the probabilities multiplied by the random value, the value taken by the random variable. Again, okay? expectation is easy because it's just the probability multiplied by the value the random variable can take. So, it will be 1 times, okay? 1 times the probability n1, excuse me, n2 equals to 1 plus 2 times the probability of n2 equals to 2. So, that's what you will see here, yeah. Uh, you can uh, do that easily, okay. This is, you just plug it in, yeah. And then we have got this part here. You clean up the algebra, you will get the expected value of n2 as um, 1 third times 2 times this. And then if you write this as 2 times 1 third times P1 plus P2 plus P3, you'll get this as 2P. That's your final answer. The expected value of N2 is 2P. Now, just be a bit careful. No uh, difficult ideas except the it's, uh, quite a bit of algebra here. Do it slowly. Yeah? It's not hard to do at all. Yeah. And then I want to work out the variance. So for that, I need my second moments, the expected value of N2 squared. Uh, that will just be uh, 1 squared times the probability of N2 equals 1 plus okay, 2 squared times the probability of N2 equals to 1. So uh, not hard. 2 squared is 4. That's what you see here. Okay. I'm trying to find the expected value of n2 squared. This is the second moment. So you just take 1 squared times this one here. So you'll find this probability here, uh, repeated here, okay, all the way, okay. And plus 2 squared, 4 times the probability of n2 equals, this is not 1, this is 2, yeah, sorry. And you get that out as well, okay. And um, when you clean this up, okay, when you clean this up, you'll get what you see here, okay. Now, the variance itself will be the second moments, okay, minus the first moments. This is your, okay, this is your expected value of N2 squared. And this one here is the expected value of N2 whole thing squared. Remember the expected value of n2 is 2p. 2p squared is 4p squared. So this is your final answer, the variance of n2. Thank you for watching. Please like this video, share as much as you can and uh, follow me on Facebook and YouTube.